James, what's going on today? Well, you know, we come down the beach. Uh, today, well, it's a lovely day. It's quite calm. The water visibility is quite clear. And hopefully, if all goes to plan, we're going to end up with something to cook in the pot over the fire. Hopefully, a crab or three. See that, everyone? We're outside, we're down by the beach. We've just got all our stuff here. The only thing that's missing right now, as James just said, is some crabs. So as you can see, James is preparing himself right now. He's putting on the wetsuit. If you like what you see, people, I'm going to say it one more time. If you like what you see, everyone, just put a comment in the comment section. And just let me know, when was the last time anyone went to a beach? Any, anytime, the last time someone went to the seaside down by the coast. Let me know in the comment section. Good vibes. Yes, everyone, as you can see where I'm going today, people. Yes, James is going in the water. He's just getting himself prepared. How's the water feeling, James? Fresh. Fresh? Fresh. Nice and cold, yeah? Lovely. All right, James loves it. Yes, people. So in a second, he's going to go in and get the good stuff. Yes, everyone, Wagwan. They are 24 hour kitchen cooking with Bingo Vision people. Yeah, we've got a special guest again today, people on the program Dunstan James Bushkra. Yeah, man, today we're gonna be outside and we're gonna be doing a little bit of swimming, getting some crab. So, James is out in the water right now, getting some crab and waiting for him to come back to shore with the crab them and we're going to be cooking up some crab today people we're going to be doing a next different style of crab people i know we've done a crab episode already but we're going to do a next style of crab people on on on, on, on the episode today people so look out for this one yeah man so as we're down by the beach you know where i go on people so you know so we can't come on beach you know people and now i'm talking water boy water is cold all right you know what time it is people yeah everyone 24 hour kitchen Cooking with Ringo Vision on the outside. Yeah, man. All right. Yes, everyone. Say so, you no, know, say. Yeah, man, the sea water. A proper water, people. You know, say. We're there, you know, people. 24 hour kitchen cooking with Ringo Vision. Yeah man, stay tuned with this episode if you like what you see people, yeah? And if, if, let me know what, what beach you've been on, what coastline you've been on, whatever country, whatever country you've traveled to and you've gone to a beach, everyone, yeah? Just let me know which one you've been on, yeah? 24 hour kitchen, you know, so we're there. A good vibes. Across, we are across the border right now, people, yeah? Yeah. Going across. We're in the water right now and it look like bushcraft you find something Woo. yeah man yeah look yo yo what's that there james let me have a look you say we catch something Whoa. Yeah. 24 hour kitchen cooking with Ringo Vision. Look at that. James come out of the water with something. Let's have a look at that one there, James. Look at that. Yeah, man. That just took like what, five minutes? Five minutes. Spin I found it. three small ones and I found this one hiding quite deep in a hole. Spin it around, James, spin it around. Go on the track, they bite. Look at that, everyone. 
Yeah. Beast. It's a beast, isn't it? It's a male, a big male. Yeah. Yes, everyone. So look, we caught something. So James there just caught a crab, everyone. Yeah. Look at that. It's a good vibes. So you know what's gonna happen in a little while, people. Yeah, we've got the ingredients, and this is the reason why we came down here, down to Dorset, on the coastline of England, people. Yeah, it's not a joke thing. If you like what you see, everyone, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah. It's fun. And I want you lot to continue on the journey with us people, yeah? It's amazing so far, you know, say, so, yeah, summer just kick off in England and, you know, say, so you're going to see a lot more of excitement. We're in the forest as well, people. So there's a lot more to come from the forest as well, people, yeah? All right, once again, I just want to show you, say, this bad boy here, this bad boy here, let me show you, say, whoa, it's heavy. This bad boy here is alive, yeah. And we just caught him. It's a good vibes, it's a good vibes. Yeah man people, we don't know what that is. Right. So what we're doing everyone, we're just putting the crab, putting the crab in this bag, I put a rock in the bag and it just weighs it down so that while I'm in the water, we don't want this thing dying out and what drying out and dying on the beach in the sun. We're gonna just put it in here, put the rock. And then uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get another one. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. James has seen something down there. Yes, everyone. So this is what's happened. Me and James, we've moved from location from down at the beachfront, from catching the crab. We've now got the crab and we're on to our next location. Yeah, I've got the crab in here. Got some food, vegetables, water. Oh wait, where's the... Oh yeah, you got it. Um, yep, pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Right, everyone, what's happening right now? Me and James, we're looking for location to go and pitch now, to go and start cooking. Yes, people, we moved to a different location right now, people. Respect. Yeah, man, me and Dunstan, we're gonna be outside today. Now we'll come to the next location right now. So we're gonna cook up our crab here today, people. You know what time it is. The good vibes. We come on the cliffs right now. We've got the sea down, yes sir. Yeah man, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sight out here, people. 24 hour kitchen. Yeah man, I had to bring it here, people. You got um Dunson over there setting up. We're gonna cook somewhere on that cliff over there. Yeah man, you got a lot of sea breeze out here today, people, yeah. It's a good vibe. Yeah man, let me just sure show you where I go on. And they see, look how beautiful the sea water is, people. Yeah man, we're all the way down in, in Weymouth at, in, in, no, Portland. Portland. We're in Portland at the moment. Yeah man, a good vibes. Everyone, I'll show you how powerful, how powerful the sea is moving right now. It's not a joke thing, so. Yeah man, we have to be careful where we are at the same time, everybody, yeah? Cause the sea is very powerful. It's not a joke thing. But yeah man, we're outside, they good vibes. Woo -hoo 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 yeah, the water is cold, James. Yes man, people, respect everybody that's logged into the program so far. 24 hour kitchen, cooking with Ringo Vision. Yeah, James done a remarkable catch today, people, yeah? I've, I've, never, I've never even gone to the shop and bought a crab, James. 
this big before. James is on camera, everybody, so big up James. Yeah, man, in the description, go and subscribe to Push Bar people. So, today, what's gonna happen now, everyone? We're gonna cook the crab. So, James has bought a, 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 a pressure cooker, and then what I'm gonna do, I bought some ingredients from London. So, I've got the cho cho, the yam, and the rest of the ingredients. You're gonna see it in just a second, people, yeah? So, big up yourself, you don't know what time it is. 24 hour kitchen and bushcraft outside. So what's happening here right now everyone, James is just preparing the wood to start the fire. Yeah. So good vibes. How are we calling people? We call him bushcraft. I don't think a joke. Original bushcraft this year, outside, yeah? No joke thing, no skin teeth thing, people, yeah? Go and subscribe to Bushcraft's channel so fast and so quick. Car, <laughs> let me tell you something. He, he showed me how to light a fire in less than a minute without no matches, without no light, or without no torch, yeah? So, all right, you're gonna see these episodes very soon on my channel, people, yeah? We've got the greatest combination of, of nature, the elements together right now. Wind, water and fire. All right, time to cook up. Ringo's brought some veg down. Uh, half of it I've never even heard of, but I really want to try it because, you know, in life you've got to try everything. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying it. So especially look, this, what's this, a yam? Yellow yam, yeah. Yellow yam, yeah, especially that. And we've got some sweet potato there as well, James. We've got cocoa here as well in the basket. Cocoa. We've got cho-cho. Cho-cho and okra. Okra. Can't leave out the scotch bonnet pepper. <laughs> got and radishes from a garden. Pulled them out last night. Yeah, some garlic, some ginger, red onion. Right, let's prep this, start cooking. Some, what we're gonna put in? Some onion and then some garlic and then Now, you know, say it's a good vibe, people, to, to just, just to be here on, on the coast, on a rock, on the sea, you know, just to be cooking for you guys, it's a, it's a good vibe, people. So, yeah, man, big up on yourself, everyone. If you like what you see, and then, and if you'd like to see me down on the coastline, on the seaside again, just put it in the comment section below, people. Yeah, man. What I'm going to start doing everyone is just start peeling the cocoa and stuff like that to just put inside of the pot. So before I do that, I'm going to add my water now to the, to the pot. So this one's a, this one's a sweet potato. So now, what I'm gonna do now, guys, yeah, just add the Ringo Vision mix into the pot. Good vibe. So Ringo's got his own spice mix. And what's it called? Ringo Vision spice mix? It's an all-purpose seasoning. All-purpose seasoning? Yes. And it smells really good. And it's good for all kind of meat, any kind of meat and any kind of fish. Perfect. So I've for never used- All around seasoning. All around seasoning. Good. I've never used it on crab before. So you're gonna give me the feedback on how oh, it yeah. tastes. And he gave me four packets. Good vibes. Alright everyone, we're just gonna wait and for this to boil up and then we're just gonna add the crab in. A good vibes. 
So we've got all the ingredients added to the stew. Now we just need to prepare the crab. And to do that, we need to kill it as it's still alive. You can see it's not very active because when they come out of the water, they're quite docile. Oh, get wet, get wet. Right, I've got to do this quick. So to do that, to, to kill it, in fact, I'm going to kill it because... And here we are, I've just killed the crab. What I'm now going to do... So we are, I've just killed the crab. I've just, so I've just dispatched the crab. Now what I need to do is snap this in half like this. Then I need to remove a lot of these things. So these things are what are known as the dead man's fingers. They're quite hard to see in the light, but they're very distinctive. They almost look like feathers. So I'm going to remove that, remove a lot of the mouth. Ooh, my nose don't get wet. And just clean the crab as well as I can. I can feel there's still nerves in this crab. It's still twitching, but the crab is dead. It's just nerves. So that there is exactly what we want to be cooking up in the pot. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Remove these dead man's fingers. Again, they look like feathers. Get rid of those. Get rid of the leftovers of what's in the mouth. Like that. It's a bit of a messy job. Remember, Woo. I was lucky. Yeah. Dustin, what's going on now? All right, so I've just prepared the crab. I've, I've killed it, I've cleaned it. I now need to give it a rinse and this is ready to go straight into the pressure cooker. All right, so crab, we're gonna put it in the pot. And there's release valves right here. In fact, you can hear already, there's pressure building up. And that's it, 12 minutes. Set the timer, let's go. Smells amazing. All right, everyone, as you can see, pressure cooker is going on with things right now. So yeah, man, everything's locked inside people, yeah? So what's gonna happen right now? I'm gonna leave it for the next couple more minutes and then we're gonna and we're gonna bust the lid and then we're gonna transfer from this position where we are because it's quite windy down here and then we're gonna go somewhere else and set up and then yeah we're gonna consume what's inside the pressure pressure cooker people. It was a good vibe today people. If you enjoy what's going on, subscribe. Good vibes. Hey, if you can smell the flavour that's coming out of this right now, it is not a normal flavour, everyone. Madness, that one on the beach side. Yeah, man. I push you up and go vision. You know what time it is. Do you see the smoke? Yeah, you know what smoke means. All right, you never fit, see fire without smoke. So we just blaze the fire. You just see the smoke. And you go on to the thing that come out in a second, everyone. A good vibe. open it before the pressure's released. So I get yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've really enjoyed it, you know. I definitely want to come again. Yeah, and, yeah. Th and thanks for taking me up here as well. Hey, no worries, no, yeah, absolute man. pleasure. The travel from London, James, yeah, like, I'm telling you, it was amazing. Just the journey alone coming up and even just... And you saw Stonehenge? I, sto I saw sto Stonehenge, never yeah. seen it before. Yeah. So good vibes. And then you brought me here and give me all this yeah man, so people, pick up bushcraft because, you know, say bushcraft is taking me out and I said we're in season four and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to give you guys an outdoor experience and bushcraft is really opening up the horizon for us all, everybody here, because he's brought us here and yeah man. Good, oh look, we've taken this off the heat. It's now, we're just waiting for it, for the pressure to really, we need all the pressure to release out of there before we can open it, otherwise it just goes everywhere. And to do that, I'm just gonna get this stick, I'm just gonna leave that stick in there for about a minute, and it will just, it'll just release the pressure. Yeah, good way. And then we'll move up there, because it's a bit noisy down here with the sea and the waves crashing. Yeah. We'll move up there, it's a bit quieter. As you're gonna see everyone, the current, the current on the sea is strong.
Hey, no spoon. Hey, available. This is my merch, by the way. Available on the bushcrafttools.com website. Check it out. I've already made one for me. I'm just making one for you. Got that. I'm just going to very... Just find, try and find the middle. Never really works. And then we've got tongs. Again, just trim off that top bit. Perfect. Which means I can hold that. Yeah, it's not too hot. Undo this. What I like about this when it comes to cooking crab is that with the pressure, it really gets all that stock, that flavor. It gets it into the crab and it just makes that crab even more amazing. Super tasty. Steaming away. Oh, it's hot. It smells amazing. I'm gonna leave that there for a minute because that's just too hot to handle. Right, Ringo, so you've never tried spider crab before? Never. What sort of crab have you tried? Just the normal red crab. Red crab, like the brown crabs. What and, did you get in and, and the white and blue ones. What are oh, them? The white and blue crabs, what are those called again? I can't remember, I'm not too sure. Oh. Yeah, them ones, the white and blue ones. White and blue ones. Let. Oh. <laughs> Come up. What are the white and blue crabs called? Please let me know. Right, in the meantime, there we are, one each. I recommend using this one as the basher yeah. and that one as the plate. Okay, cool. Or the, the, the base, just because it's heavier. Right, so I'm going to start. I'm taking off this claw. Yes, straight for the claw, the size of it. Well, go on, people, so yeah, man, a good vibe. So, you know, so we're outside. Yeah, man, see there? Big old claw. So, yeah, just break the claw off. Look at that. That is what we're talking about. That has been the mission of the day to find, catch, cook one of these. Mad. Now there's a fine line between bashing this too hard yeah. and getting it just right. Because if you do it too hard, it, it turns into a paste and it just goes everywhere. Okay. So you just lightly want to crack it. Just like that, one little crack on that side. That. Oh, yes, everybody, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Good vibes. Yeah, James, good stuff. Good, isn't it? Mm. A little bit left in there. Yes, everyone, as you can see, we are going today. We caught and we cooked the crab. So, Dustin caught the crab, Ringo Vision. Yeah, we cooked the crab, people. So, it's a good vibe. If you like what you see, people, on the 24 hour kitchen, yeah, man, subscribe. It's a good vibe today. So, today was an episode. We went out today on the beach side, we caught the crab, and we cooked the crab, people, yeah. And the crab tastes so delicious and nice as well. Yeah, man, it's a good vibe. The crab tastes wonderful. I'm gonna get into some of the food in here. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens if you squash, if you hit it too hard. It just makes a mess. Yes, everyone, as you can see, it's in the plate, yeah? You think I joke? You have a bad boy plate, this. All right. Knife on the fork, this. Sweet this is a sweet potato again. Um, sweet hard. No, that's not the sweet potato, that's different. The yellow yam. That's the yam. Yeah. It's quite firm, isn't it? It's firm. 
it's hard to mash out. Mm. But the potato will mash out. But I'm surprised here. Yeah, it's good actually. How the um, the pressure cooker it didn't ma things didn't mash out. Only the cho cho, but it's it's natural for a cho cho to just mash out in the pot anyway. I need to try the cho cho. And the other one, and the okra. Oh, the okra. Let me get okra. Out. Right now, the okra. Another firm one. Yeah. Feeling it? No? No, I don't like that. Alright, so, not really feeling the cocoa. So, the cocoa, yeah. Is like a softer, and it's got a, it's got a different, unique flavour to it. It's either you like it or you don't like it. It's got a gumminess to it. It does, yeah. I don't know. There's something there. There's something that I'm not too keen on. But I can see it being a great stew food. Yeah. This is a sweet potato. Yeah. Oh, back to the sweet potato. Yeah. So mm. at least, at least, at least you can identify because not just because it's Caribbean. Not every Caribbean people like um, cocoa, and you've identified that you're not really feeling yeah, the cocoa, I, and that's understandable because I know a lot of people, a lot of they Jamaican, don't like cocoa. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't like. You have to even the yam. I know a lot of people that don't eat yam. They don't like it. It's a bit like a bit like like fennel or something like aniseed. Mm. You know, you either. You're either on the team or you're not on the team. Yes. And for this, I don't think I'm on the team. All right, cool. So, that's really good to know as well, people, yeah? Just to get your feedback. Wait, wait, wait. That's really good to know as well, everyone. Just to get your feedback to know that Dustin doesn't like cocoa. That's one of the hard food ingredients that I brought down from London to them. So, a good vibe said, wait, at least. Hey, some... But I appreciate you bringing it all down so I could try it. Yeah. And I saved some, so. Maybe your mate can try it as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna be eating the cocoa people. Car. Woo! You know why as well? You might not like the cocoa. Why? Because it infuses with the flavour that it's in. It takes on to the flavour that mm. it's in a lot. And the crab. You can get the feedback off of the crab off of it with the cocoa, so it, it doesn't. It might not be giving you like a nice combination of of, of the fragrance that it gives, mm. because cocoa already carries that kind of earthy kind of taste, and the crab gives you uh, a bit of I don't know. It's, it's, it, crab has a distinctive taste to it as well. It's either you like it or you don't mm. like it. Mm. Yeah, and I think the two is clashing. Bring it in your back? Oh, no, no. No, we finished it. <laughs> cool. today, man. You're a bad boy. <laughs> you're a, you're it's another day, though, <laughs> innit? You're a proper bad boy. <laughs> hey, man, that's what I do. Yes, everybody, it's been a good day today. You know, say me and Bushcraft, we done do the thing. I'm done catch the thing, and I done cook up the something people, yeah? So you know what to do next. I just feel subscribe to the thing. If you liked it, you enjoyed it, go over to Bushcraft channel as well. Go and hit up the subscribe button as well. Make both of them turn grey, cause you know what time it is, yeah? We're outside. We're on the coast. Yeah, man, we're on the coast. Look where we're chilling. And we're just eating the food right now, just consuming. Yeah man, there's a crab and everything we're going on right now, you know. Yes, people, so you see, you see that? Alright, good vibes.